Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I am going to install a flat top of the box humbucker pickup on this cigar box guitar. So, follow me to the shop. It's that away. A lot of the electric guitar humbucker pickups will come something like this or like this. They're pretty thick, three quarters of an inch, seven eighths of an inch deep so that means you have to cut a hole in your box and in a lot of cases you have to notch out the neck so the box will close like that now another type humbucker pickup i use quite a bit are these right here now these are from mgbguitars.com and they are flat humbucker pickup just like this you can see how thin it is compared to that and there's no cutting of the box with these these will fit right on top of the box like this and it comes with different uh, you can buy different types of covers with it this one's an antique brass they got uh, gold aluminum black whatever you want this will just go right on top of the box, no cutting, and your little cover will go just like that. And I'm going to show you how I install that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where I want to put this uh, pickup on my box. Now you can put it up in the neck position, you can put it down the bridge position. Uh, this one I'm going to put up by the neck position. And I'm just going to look and see how that looks with the cover on it right there. And that's about where I want it to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to measure nothing. I'm just going to eyeball it about right there. I'm going to line it up kind of straight with my neck. I'm going to take my little awl here and I'm going to poke a hole right here where this wire is. Just like that. Now I've got my drill bit on there. It's one eighth of an inch drill bit, which is about the size of that wire right there. And I'm just going to drill a hole through the top of my box right where I... I punched a hole with my little awl there. Just like that. Now I'm just going to take the wire and feed it through the hole. Just like that. That's where it'll go by the way now what I do now now that I have the wire going through the box I'm going to take some hot glue flip this pickup over and put some hot glue on both sides here just like that and I'm going to flip it over And just hold it nice and straight just like that this way my pickup won't be flopping all over the place while i'm trying to wire it up on the inside of the box and that's where it's going to go the cover's going to look something like that now let's move to the inside well i want to apologize first for my messy work table here please excuse all that well it's not really messy oh it's messy all right but nobody touch a thing because I know where everything is. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I did happen to find my wire cutters, which we're going to use in this next step. Well, I've got the box turned upside down here so I could show you what I'm doing here. I have a hole drilled here. That's going to be for a volume knob. And I did already tint my connections with solder on my potentiometer right there. But the knob is going to go there, so I'm going to take my wire, fasten it right here, and over to my little hole where the wire is going to go, and I'm just going to cut that off. Yeah. Well, I went ahead and stripped the wire right here, and you have a white wire, and you have this right here, all these little wires here. I'm going to twist around because this is going to be the ground and the white wire will be the hot wire. I have moved to the other side 
of the table here where my solder gun is and all that but this is what I do next I'm taking this wire here that I just twisted the ground and there's the positive I got another piece of wire here that's going to go from the volume pot to the output jack and this wire here the one that's the ground I'm going to twist this ground wire to this one just like that now with this potentiometer upside down like this this far one to the left here this post here is going to be the hot wire from my pickup which will be this white wire here will go on that first post right there the middle post will be a hot wire that will go to my output jack that's this wire here will be on the middle post output jack the last post over here which is grounded to the top or the actual bottom of the pot that will be my ground which will be these two wires that I twisted together and this is what that looks like now on the other end of these wires I have the positive and the ground that will go to the output jack right here now I'm also going to take another little piece of a ground wire right here and I'm going to twist it to this ground here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that well here's what I have so far I have the pickup installed on the top I've got the wire going through the box to my potentiometer and then it's wired to my output jack and there's an extra little ground wire hanging off right here from my output jack now I'm going to show you what I do with that now when you're using a magnetic pickup you always need to ground your strings if you don't when you hook it up to an amp you're going to get you could possibly get buzzing and humming from the amp from the strings so we're going to ground them I'm using this as a tailpiece, and you'll see I did kind of sand the finish off down to the metal right there. And it's going to go right back here. And I, I'm going to use this as a ground because it is magnetic, just like my bottom of my pot right there is magnetic. So that works as a good ground. Now, if you look right down here, it's kind of hard to see with the cam camera angle, but I do have a little hole drilled right there. And this little ground wire is going to go right through that hole and stick out the back of the guitar and I'll show you that now now this is the back of the box where my little strike plate will be attached to right there and I did put some copper tape here up and around like that to ride on the back the inside of my strike plate and you'll notice right here I have the ground wire sticking through which I will just bend over like that and then just put my strike plate on and that will ground all three of my strings and this is the hole for my output jack right here that's going to come through there and I will have a black jack plate just like that I have the strike plate and the jack plate installed now we're just going to do one other thing before we button it up. Now before I put the cover on the pickup and put my little screws here to close my box, I just want to do one last check, make sure the pickup and the volume knob are working great. All good. Now I do want to make sure my cover is straight, so I'm just going to measure it here to make sure that is straight. I'm going to take my little awl and just poke a few little pilot holes right in the middle here. And 
And then just drill my four holes for my cover. And there it is. Beautiful. Now that I got the cover on the pickup, it's time to string it up and tune it up. Well, this is what it looks like with the strings on it. Came out beautiful. And by the way, these top of the box flat pickups are also available in a single coil, which I have on this uh, Rocky Patel battalion box. Very nice. I think we should take this one and see how it sounds. I do have this black Padrone box tuned to an open G, which is G, D, G. And I'm not going through my Vox Mini 5 amp uh, right now. It's in the house somewhere. So I'm going through my very dusty Line 6 amp right here with a clean channel, a little bit of reverb. Let's just see how this humbucker sounds. I think that humbucker has a really good sound and it's very easy to install. Let me know what you think down in the comments. No wonder I can't see half the time in here. The lighting is terrible. Now if you like these cigar box guitar videos, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to ring that bell so they tell you that I put out a new video, which is going to be soon. And before you leave, please throw me one of those likes. YouTube loves that. My name's Michael, and there's mosquitoes in here. My name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>